Yet another explosive film has opened one of the country's most popular cinema celebrations. The 35th Durban International Film Festival opened its doors with Hard to Get, a grungy tale of two lovers caught up in the underbelly of the crime world. Shot in Johannesburg, the film is one of over 200 hand-picked for the prestigious festival. And it's among 70 South African films that are on the lineup. First-time feature director Zian Tuli says it's been a long road. It's a film that I've been working on um, with the producers and my co-writer Tissa Sabisi for almost three years now. So it's been kind of, you know, my, it's been my baby. And Tuli was determined to highlight some of the social issues facing South Africa's youth while entertaining audiences on a new level. It's a project the film's stars are proud to be a part of. My have you team. seen the film? I haven't seen the film. I haven't seen the film. We both haven't <laughs> seen the film, so yeah. we're all going to be the first ones tonight. Yeah. Last year's opener of Good Report caused an uproar over a scene which was deemed child pornography. Organizers say it's always tough putting such an event together. We have, I think we have about 700 guests from around the world flying into the festival. Um, 35,000 um, tickets will be sold roughly. We have nine venues. Uh, we have a full hotel full of guests. The Durban International Film Festival promises to wow audiences again this year with over 280 screenings of films from across the world. Shh! Judith Subban, Durban. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.